Hi guys, welcome to Killa Arts. So today I'm taking my artwork with me and we're gonna check out some local museums and gift shops and I'm gonna see if they wanna consign or wholesale some of my art pieces. Today is specifically gonna be towards the native Mohawks. It's part of the area where I grew up and these places we're going to are located along the Mohawk River, which actually used to be the throughway for the natives to travel uh, back and forth. And I have some pieces that are related to the Turtle Clan and Kateri Tekakwitha. And we're gonna go to these places and see what they think about my art. Thank you. Here are some of the pieces that I'm gonna be bringing with me today. This one is of Kateri Tekakwitha and it's a matted print. And then I have like a matted print of the Turtle Clan because that's the area that we're headed to. They were all, it's like the Turtle Clan area. And here's another one here. This one's hand painted on slate. This is the original one. This one is also on slate. And then if we look down here, this is the original canvas one that sign and then this is a new design that i made and she is the lily of the mohawks so i included like um a lily design in it and then that there is the white pine tree and then on here it has the sky dome design which is like inspired from iroquois beadwork and this one is also on slate We are at Kanawaga right now and we're headed down to the spring and supposedly this is where Kateri had her baptism at the spring. And not only that, but it was, you know, the local spring for the village that you see right over here. So here is the spring. Right now it's kind of dry and they installed a pipe where the water comes up. And then right next to us is a sign that says a pair of barn swallows returns here every year. And then when you look in here, it's kind of cool. They actually decided to build their nest right on her neck, which is neat because she was known as someone to sit in nature a lot and contemplate and you know be one with the animals so as we're i found a new trail that goes behind the village and it's pretty neat because there's all of these these are horse tails and these were around in the dinosaur times and they were also used as medicine for the iroquois people and if you look down in there i don't know if you can see but it's like a whole valley of I've never seen this many all together. So we're here at the ice cream store and also like the produce area. And behind me is a bunch of corn fields. But what I was told by a museum owner at Fort Hunter is that this area used to be called the Mohawk Flats and this place was like filled with old Mohawk native villages. 